Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. I'm excited this morning. I believe you're also excited. But probably if you are down because of certain things happening to you, I want to encourage you through the word of God. And allow me to read for you the book of uh, Romans chapter 15, verses 30. The Bible says these beautiful words. Romans 15 and verses 30. Now I beseech you, brethren, for the Lord Jesus Christ's sake and for the love of the Spirit that ye strive together with me in your prayers to God for me. The man of God is telling the brethren that he beseeches them for the sake of Jesus, that these people and for the love of the Spirit, they should strive together with him to pray for him. And this morning, I continue with a series I began on Monday about the promise of the Spirit. And for the last three or four days, I've been talking about having intimacy with the Lord through the Spirit. And this morning, and probably tomorrow, we'll be talking about the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. My friends, the Holy Spirit has been called the neglected person of the Trinity. Some equates the Holy Spirit only with power. We should not be the case. The Holy Spirit is a real person. The Holy Spirit is a divine person who enables us to have an intimate relationship with God. Yet, he may be a stranger to us even this morning as I speak to you. But the question I want to ask you, child of God, are you aware of him? How do we nurture fellowship with the Holy Spirit? Because that is very, very important. I want to give us four things, then we pray together. How we can develop and nurture our fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Because I'm talking about the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. Number one, we learn to recognize his voice and become responsive to it. Not anger, not condemnation, not fear of God. We learn to recognize his voice and become responsive to the voice of the Holy Spirit. And I encourage you this morning to learn to recognize the voice of the Spirit and become responsive to that voice. Number two, know the things it will focus on. The Holy Spirit always focuses on the greatness of Jesus. He always focuses on the power of the cross. He always focuses on our righteousness. Hallelujah. It is important, child of God, that we know that God wants us to nurture our fellowship with Him. And that's why we are asking ourselves, how do we nurture fellowship with Him? Let us know the things that the Holy Spirit focuses on. The Holy Spirit doesn't focus on politics. The Holy Spirit doesn't focus on division. He focuses on the greatness of Jesus. He focuses on the power of the cross. He focuses on the righteousness, our righteousness. Another way we can nurture our fellowship with Him, we share our feelings with Holy Spirit and seek Him when we make decisions in our lives. In other words, before you do whatever you want to do today, can you share your feelings with the Holy Spirit? Can you share your feelings with the Spirit of God and, and, and seek Him when you want to make any decision in your life? Don't just make decision minus the power of the Holy Spirit, minus the leadership of our Lord Jesus Christ. And child of God, we can only do this if we are confident of His love. Hallelujah. The Spirit of life in Christ Jesus. We can only do this if we are confident of his love. Do you know that God is love, child of God? We're talking about agape. God is love. That unmerited love. 
A love for the unlovely. It is not a response to anything in us. It arises purely from the heart of God. He is the initiator of this love. And I encourage you this morning. Maybe you feel not loved by anybody. There is the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. When we commune with the spirit, we get the life in Christ Jesus. And we get that love we are talking about. We have heard people talking about Eros. Eros is not found in the New Testament. Yet, the self-righteous believe that God has Eros love. I, he loves us only when we are lovely. God wants to change our default setting from Eros to Agape this morning in Jesus' name. He wants to set it to Agape this morning. He wants to love you unconditionally. Whether you are black, whether you are yellow, whether you are red, God wants to love you unconditionally. Whether you are short, whether you are tall, God wants to love you this morning. I want to pray with you in the name of Jesus. As we talk about the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever shall believe will not perish and shall have everlasting life. May God bless you to know this truth in Jesus' name. Let's pray together. Our heavenly father, the father of love, God who is love. I pray in Jesus' name that this morning, God, you are touching your sons and daughters. They are realizing that God, through your spirit, we get our life in Christ Jesus. I thank you as they go to their various places of responsibility. May they see this love in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. God bless you. Let's meet again tomorrow in the name of Jesus. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidham Eldoran TV. Our Facebook page is Sidham Eldoran. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidham Eldoran. And our website is eldoran.sidham.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.